Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're from Indonesia Sweatbox Animation Studio. We want to introduce you about uh, Punokawan. This is our Javanese traditional uh, characters. This is the Wayang version, and we develop the animation version. You can see so many differences. Back to the traditional version, we can see that this character Bagong is really famous in Indonesia. We can compare it to Mikey Mouse. Mikey Mouse will get like 49 million Google search results and Bagong 45. So both of them could be a, a movie star. But you can see maybe you very difficult to fall in love with this Bagong. And then that's why we develop this Bagong. Okay, and about winning the market. We see that why Indonesian people really love Bagong because uh, they have a, like wise wisdom, they inspiring and entertaining. That's why to winning the market, we're going to produce a high quality vi viral content, entertaining, inspiring, educational content, actual issue and unique perspective. And we choose 2D animation and viral contents to start it. The target audience will be adolescent and adult. In Indonesia, they are the major user of internet. We're going to raise like 25,000 US dollar for reward crowdfunding to produce 12 minutes animated pilot episode, 50 clip arts and 10 animated clips write and publish 100 copies of the art book and run online and social media campaign for one year. This is, we going, this is our reward. We're going to reward you with certificate of contribution. We're going to uh, make a different color for its level of contribution than t-shirt, caps, then vest, and plush dolls, and wooden art pieces, of course, books and CDs. And where do the money go? Most of the money from $25,000, we're going to go to produce the animation pilot episode. It costs about 40, 14 and 500 US dollar. It's about 58% from the uh, total fund. And actually, here we are. We plan this to be a we have an extended goal for this project. And this is the first year we want to... So we have the exit strategy. This is to start a Punokawan Inns. Okay, thank you. This is our greeting for Java, from Java. And thank you. The next, I would like to open the floor for our commenters. Okay. I really like the story. Uh, I think I will, um, I will donate. <laughs> Are you on the any crowdfunding uh, platform already? No. We actually met Hong Xin on November and he gave us insight on crowdfunding. And then actually we, we have uh, like abandoned this project from 2011. Mm -hmm. And when we hear from Hong Xin about crowdfunding, and then, oh my God, this is how we can make Punokawan happen. And that's why uh, we make a long journey here to present about this project. So you, you, you were just barely touching on the uh, exit strategy. Can you elaborate on the exit? Action strategy? No, exit. Exit strategy, okay. Well, we don't want to ask for donation or uh, crowdfunding again and again. Actually, this uh, year is to connect the crowd from uh, Punokawan here and our design. That's why we're going to make a lot of a campaign. And after we connect with the crowd, we want to produce a movie or TV series. And we have a quite good over to produce the movie for uh, by using two dim 
to the technique, we can produce the movie at least uh, started from 2000, uh, 250,000 US dollar. And the time will take like one and a half year to produce and uh, the income will come from the ticket. You can see that the share of the ticket is like 50% and the pre-given point is quite reasonable, like 200,000 tickets. If we already connected to the crowd, 200,000 tickets is easy. So that's why this is the exit strategy and if we can uh, go beyond the big event points, so we have enough capital to develop even more this Punokawan character. And in 2D technique, it's very easy to introduce new character or to produce new character because we just need to uh, draw them, make them move and just publish them and then get the response from the crowd and then market validation. Should we campaign them more or not? We learn a lot from um, uh, Japan. from Pokemon in Pokemon already has like 700,000 characters. So they're like a talent agency, but the, the artist is not real person, but characters, animation characters. That's why. How many people in your team to do this? And if you want to scale up, do you need some more people? Yeah, we have like uh, uh, like five person already have a commitment to develop this, and we're going to add more people, like people from cultural background, people who really love the cultural heritage, like from Wayang and this. I think more people is going to join. Uh, from the detail, uh, you can see in the Sinwatana platform, we are uh, putting our campaign on Sinwatana. For the content, you, you, uh, pr you make up the content by yourself for the content of the story? Yes, we make content by ourselves. Actually, we do lots of uh, production. Uh, full production from story to uh, like mastering, but mostly like um, it's an order from uh, outsiders. So this is going to be the first time we're going to produce uh, full content owned by ourselves for uh, by our company. Okay. This is based on Wayang Kulit, right? Yeah, you know, I thank okay. you. So, has this been done in Indonesia before? It's a very popular art form. Yes, if you Google them, there are so many versions of uh, Punokawan. And one of the big animation studio already produced it, but in 3D. In 3D, it's very expensive and not quite responsive. I mean, if they get in, couldn't catch the audience, it's quite difficult to shift the to shift the stories to shift everything like that okay so if it's been done before what what makes you think you have a differentiating factor that attracts an audience base we're going to connect with the crowd first and listen to them we don't we we are a sweat box but we we don't want to work on only on box we we're going to reach people and connect with the crowd then begin to produce. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Terima kasih.